the British Empire came to accumulate a large amount of territories on the American continent in its time, many of these territories are today Anglo-Saxon countries, or regions with a great British influence, probably the most popular territories are Canada or America, some others not so popular but widely remembered are British Guinea, Belize, Jamaica, the Falkland Islands, among others. However, of the entire continent, probably the most unknown British territory is the Mosquito Coast, in Central America, which is a shame since this territory despite being part of Nicaragua today, has a great British cultural heritage. The British presence on the Mosquito Coast begins in the 17th century, although the Spanish Empire after the conquest of Central America started claiming the entire territory. A group of Englishmen of the Providence Company settled on the coast in 1630, and established relations with the native mosquitoes. Many of these British brought African slaves to work in tree logging and agriculture. These Africans developed a close relationship with the native mosquitoes, coming to celebrate marriages with each other and widely practicing miscegenation. These new mosquitoes developed a great cultural relationship with the British adopting English names and surnames, converting to Anglican Christianity, and adopting their language, the English. In 1740 British sovereignty over the Mosquito Coast was formalized when a local tribal king signed a treaty of friendship with the British, and officially the Mosquito Coast became a British protectorate. The situation remained that way until 1787, when the British, after fighting a war against the Spanish, agreed to temporarily abandon the region. After Spain lost its colonial possessions in the continental America, the Mosquito Coast became subject of dispute between the Federal Republic of Central America, Nicaragua, and Gran Colombia. In addition to this, the international demand for mahogany, a very attractive type of tropical wood, increased considerably, due to this, Throughout the 19th century the British presence in Mosquito Coast began to increase, and from 1843 the British Empire returned to take possession of Mosquito Coast as a British protectorate. During this period there was a greater cultural exchange between the Mosquitoes and the British, and more black people arrived from Jamaica and the rest of the West Indies, however, this same period coincided with the project of the construction of an interoceanic canal that would connect the Atlantic with the Pacific, and the United States of America, at that time a power in apogee, began to see in a negative way the British presence in the Mosquito Coast and began to pressure the British Empire to cede this territory to Nicaragua. In 1860, Nicaragua and the British Empire signed the Managua Treaty where although the Mosquito Coast became part of Nicaragua, this region would enjoy a great level of autonomy. In this way a large part of the economic interests of Britain were protected. However, over time, America ended up replacing Britain as Nicaragua's main commercial partner and with this Mosquito Coast finally came under American influence. In 1894 finally, Nicaragua annexed Mosquito Coast. From this moment there were always tensions between the English-speaking population of Mosquito Coast and the Spanish-speaking population of Nicaragua. However, the Mosquitoes, despite having become a minority, managed to preserve their English culture. Therefore, it is normal to find cities with English names such as Bluefields or Sandy Bay. It is normal to find people with English names and surnames. And even today there is the Nicaraguan Creole, a local version of the English language. I always identify myself as a black Creole because my mother is a black Creole woman, my father is a black Creole man, all my children, my husband, my whole environment is black Creole. For me it's very important because it gives me an identity, an identity. If you liked this video please give it a like and subscribe, remember that you can leave your opinion in the comments and tell me if you want a video about a particular topic.